Hello, my digital planning friends. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the GoodNotes toolbar. We're gonna just talk about some tips of it and just go a quick overview on the GoodNotes toolbar so that you know how to use it. If this is something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Brandy Reed. I'm with 3 Nail Faith, where I create digital planners and digital stickers for Christian women. Let's get started. Okay, let's go over the GoodNote 6 toolbar. Your first thing that you need to know is to make your links work, you wanna make sure you, this is the button that turns your links on and off. This little pen here, if it is not highlighted, then your links will work. So you can touch any of the things, you know, that are on your planner to make, to be able to move around in your planner. Now, if you touch this and it, it has a circle on it and has a color, that means that your pen, your toolbar works, okay? So that is what that is. Then we have your back and forth button. So if you make a mistake, you can easily just move back and forth between your mistakes. You have a pen tool, an eraser tool, a highlighter tool. This one makes shapes. This one lassos, is called the lasso tool. Like you can lasso around something and be able to move it. This is your elements tool. If you tap it again, it's going to show you um, your different items that, like if you have a, a collection or an element. And this is like the fall kit for this particular sticker set that I used on October. And so you can have a, a large collection of them here, or you can use um, the GoodNotes files to do it, or you can use the PNGs and slide them over. But that's another story. But this is what the elements tool is. We have our photo tool, so you can tap, you know, the photo and be able to readjust it or bring in anything that is on your camera roll. We have a text tool where you can tap. For some reason, mine has a little bit of a delay. A very long delay today. You can tap it and write, write something and then you can you know, your, your text turns out where you can write or you can come down here and tap your uh, little keyboard looking thing and it'll show your keyboard and then you can write that way as well. Okay, we have the zoom feature right here so you can tap and then if you need to zoom into a certain section, see it's, here's our box right here, you can move your box to whatever you would like it to be and then you can write in there as instead of using your fingers to zoom. Um, if you didn't know, if you pinch your fingers in and out, it'll move your, your screen. So if I have my fingers out and pinch in, it makes it smaller. If I have my fingers together and pinch out, that makes it larger. So that's how you can move your a planner around. So I don't want this hello anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap my eraser button and just highlight over it and that erases it. I also don't want that hello, so I'm gonna hit my lasso button, lasso around it, tap it, and then you also, you can see you have other things that you can do. You can color it, resize it, like if you wanna resize it, you can color it, it'll change it to whatever color, or you can delete it. Oh, you could also copy it as well. That was some of the things those do. Um, then we have this um, laser. Usually we don't use this with digital planning, but it is there. Uh, okay, let's see. We have this box up here, and that's going to show you all your different pages in your planner. Your finder. Let's say you're wanting to find a dentist appointment. So you write in there, dentist. And it's going to pop up all the pages that you have dentist wrote on there. It works for text and for handwriting. And okay, so we have our pen tool that makes our links work. Then we also have this type um, section where it pops up with a box where you can type um, with a typewriter key. You can write in there, different things like that. We also have the record button where you can record things. Like, like right now it's recording my voice. Hit stop. And, oh, over here, it's moved over here. Um, this is our like uh, recording, so. The record button where you can record. 
So that is that. If you wanna get rid of your recording, you touch that down arrow, slide it over, and delete. And then that little uh, section disappears. You can add pages using this add page button. Um, if you want to say you want a copy of this October, you would click right here and that adds your October page in or whichever page you're wanting. You can bookmark a page and that will save it. Like if you came over here to your favorites and there is, it will pop up in a minute. It's a little slow today, but that's where this page will pop up. See? If you want to make sure you save certain pages and, and be able to easily access them that way. And you can tap it and it'll remove it right from there. Or you can tap it right from your toolbar and that will remove it as well. If you are wanting to share your page, um, that would be in here. Most of us don't share our pages. Um, and then these are some more copy pages and things like that. So that is what the toolbar is. Let me go back and um, maybe go over a little bit more of this. Okay, see how um, I had done something and now I have my arrow button. So see how it popped the hello up and hit that arrow button again and it got rid of it. If you tap your uh, pen tool again, it pops up with all of these different settings that you can choose from. Writing on GoodNotes, you just need to trial and error, to trial the different sizes, the different types of, of pens. Also, when you have your pen title, your, your pen highlighted, you have um, three different options of how your pen thickness will write. I particularly like mine at that size, but you tap it and you can choose how thick or thin. See, this is a thinner one, and then this is a thicker one. You can also change your pen color. If you hit the down arrow, it will change, allow you to change. And um, I have a video where you can learn how to add pen colors. And again, you can use this as a pen color, or you can just choose between all of these. You can set these as whatever you would like. See, as you tap it, the arrow pops up and you can choose a different color. Um, your eraser tool, you can have erase highlight only, auto select. I like to leave that on and that, um, let me show you what that does. Okay, to use the, the eraser tool on the auto deselect, what you're gonna do is let's tap the pen tool. We'll write, hello, oh, I'm on the thick one and I don't like the thick one, so I'm gonna change that back. And I'm gonna hit the, the eraser button. I'm gonna erase what I wrote. As soon as I let go, it goes automatically back to my pen tool so I can start write, writing again. I love that because if it's turned off, let me show you. If you turn it off and you go to your pen tool, hello, you erase, well then you gotta hit <laughs> the pen tool. And I know it's just another step, but to me, it's what I like to do. You, you can do whatever, but if you wanna hit the auto select, make sure you do that. Your precision tool will just do part of the erase, the, like if you wanna just erase just part of the word. Your st uh, standard eraser like does a stroke. No, sorry, the stroke is this one and the standard eraser just does a little bit, but this one will make sure it just does certain sections of it. Um, your highlighter, you can just highlight things. Your shape tool. You can draw a shape, hold it, and it automatically will um, make a shape. If you hit your back button, it's going to take off the outline. And that is pretty much your toolbar. If you have any questions, let me know, and I would love to try to help you out. Um, if you are interested in something like this, I have a Good Notes course that will teach you in more in depth of different things about Good Notes, and I'll leave a link for that below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them below. Make sure you hit that like button if this was something that you were interested in and follow along so that way you don't miss a single video. I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye.